now start making our sauce. One tablespoon of oyster sauce. And then five tablespoon of soy sauce. Any kind of soy sauce will do, but we are using less sodium soy sauce. Add ground black pepper. Two teaspoon of sugar. And cayenne pepper to make my adobo spicy and also guajillo chili so mix it together then add cooking oil in a heated pan and then uh, put the minced onions and garlic And we can now add the, the chicken meat. Just mix it together until the meat is lightly brown. Now that the meat is already light brown, we can now add our sauce. Bring to a boil. And then we can add the quail egg. Just bring into a boil in just a medium heat uh, until the sauce thickens. You can add black pepper, uh, chicken flavor bouillon powder. You can add sugar again according to your desired taste. I add paprika to enhance the color of the chicken meat. Seconds and three. Taste it. If the the spice is not enough, you can add more cayenne pepper and guajillo chili, like what I'm doing right now, because I really love a spicy adobo. So just mix in, mix and mix it so that everything will be spread evenly so that the cayenne pepper and the guajillo chili will be all over the meat. My spicy chicken adobo is almost done. So look at the sauce. Yes, it looks delicious, guys. Mm. Mm. 
Now we add sliced green onions. To enhance the color of our spicy chicken adobo. Also try this at home guys I and I'm sure your kids would love it and it's very nutritious too With cleaning the bell pepper I'll be using two pieces of bell peppers here so we need to remove all the seeds and set aside so here are all the ingredients two pieces of bell pepper ground beef sweet corn grated mozzarella and cheddar cheese diced carrots minced onion diced tomatoes and we need also one cup of steamed rice ground black pepper light salt soy sauce put butter in a heated pan and add minced onions and we need to saute it for a few minutes before adding the ground beef Then add diced carrots, diced tomatoes, sweet corn, and add the steam rice. Mix it all together. And if it's all mixed together we can add also one tablespoon of soy sauce so since we already put one tablespoon of soy sauce we don't need we don't need to add salt or else it might be too salty time to add the grated cheese and then after this we'll just mix it for a short time and remove 
from the heat and we start filling up the bell pepper so this is it it's all filled with that mixture and we put a uh, grated cheese above it so this is already ready to bake and I already free hit the oven for about uh, 325 degrees Fahrenheit so put it inside the oven and cook for about 30 to 40 minutes so this is it it's all done so one for me and one for my hobby so our dinner is ready Nice touch. Huh? That was a nice touch. Hey.